Hey everyone, it's Hallie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a book shopping vlog. I am going to Barnes & Noble. Um, I used to work there, so I am probably going to be interrupted by a few people that I know because I have a few friends that still work there. Um, my sister is going to be filming me and it is going to be so fun. I just wanted to get a couple of books and I know these are kind of like popular like book Twitter, book tube, book Instagram books and so I wanted to bring you guys along with me and then after that uh, I am going to kind of show you my haul and it'll be really fun. <laughs> Anyways, it is Texas. Even though it is November, this car is fucking hot so let's get going. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try not to breathe too hard. Finally reading a V.E. Schwab book. Hello? There's a darker shade of magic. What if they don't have any more eye? Uh oh. This, this is cool. What the freaking heck? Oh my god. That's so cool. Look at that. I've never seen this edition. I'm not gonna get this yet. I told mom to get it for me for Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks like they don't have Dark Shade of Magic. That's super fun and cool. It's fresh. War Cross and Wild Card. Ooh. Heard a lot of good stuff about these ones. This is gonna be so much money. I'll fix it. I used to work here. Nope. Boom. I told mommy to get that for me. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It's gonna be covered. Fucking siege of storm. Nikolai Supremacy. Sexy. <gasps> this is me and my kid. <laughs> I'm so proud. You should find like a list of books that have characters with your name and, and read them it. and then do a video. Let rom com see it. I've been like super into just like stupid rom coms. <laughs> My stupid fried brain can't even read fantasy anymore. Well, that yeah. looks cool. I don't know what that is. Are we even allowed to be filming here? I mean, I've seen other people do it, so I think I am allowed. With these, finally, Maya of Sarah, I'm coming for you. I read the fiction. It's sad. I'm not reading that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like something wrong with me. I've heard this is good. The worst best we have. But I don't know. I don't know. I feel like nothing is just gonna compare to the new God with love. Oh, Luminae. Should I get a Luminae? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> nice. This is my recommendation for the video. Um, Critical Role, it's my favorite podcast. It's a D&D podcast. Um, check them out. <laughs> I love Brandon Sanderson. He's really good if you like uh, sci-fi and fantasy. My recommendation from this author would be Steelheart. Oh, oh, would you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Love it. 
the business section. <gasps> I don't like it. Oh, him. Him. Hmm. I don't know where it is. I saw them all the time when I worked here. Why don't I see them now? Don't belong here. It's in the diet section. Oh, yeah? No. Keto snacks? That's fun. Get a miss. Yeah. yeah. Mom doesn't read real books. Okay. Macaroon break. Okay, everyone, that was it for my book shopping vlog. Sorry, it's kind of hard to like hear. Uh, we were whispering and I was also trying to avoid my old managers. Uh, there's some clips of that. Did not realize my sister was like mumbling to herself the entire time. Thank you for that. Love it. But yeah, I found some really fun books. I kind of went in there with an idea of what I wanted. Uh, and then also I got some stuff that I wasn't planning on getting. So I am excited to show you guys what I got. So first I really wanted to get the A Darker Shade of Magic series. I've heard so much about it uh and i need to read it it's been too long i can't be on booktube and book twitter having not read a darker shade of magic uh so i didn't find the first book they don't have it like in stock right now so i will just be i guess waiting until christmas for that one because i spent too much fucking money today so i was able to get a conjuring of light and then this is the book I was most excited for. I didn't even realize that this existed at all, but look how gorgeous this version of A Gathering of Shadows is. That is so pretty and I'm so obsessed with it. Like I saw it and I was like immediately in love. I just like, look at that rose gold and that, oh, the bookmark, I'm obsessed. Look where I had to scrape off the freaking Barnes and Noble uh, sticker. They're so ridiculous, I hate them. And I can say that now because I don't work for them. Second, I needed to get like just a Christmas present for my dad. Uh, originally I was gonna get a book he told me he wanted, like some sort of business book. Um, so I was sitting in the business section, like a deer caught in the headlights, no idea what I was doing or looking for and I couldn't find it. Uh, so I just got him a keto diet book. This isn't the one that I picked off the shelf. I found a different one and I liked this one better, so I got this one. He's super into like keto stuff, uh, and he, I don't even know. I don't know and I don't uh, abide by that diet, but he likes it and so I thought I'd get him like a thing of recipes for his keto diet um, because all he fucking eats are like chicken wings and cream cheese and jalapenos. It's ridiculous. Next, I didn't know if I was gonna get this or not. Um, I kind of forgot about it and then we were in the store and I saw it and I was like, I have to have it. This cover isn't as pretty as the other one that I know exists, but Warcross uh, by Marie Lu. And I'm so excited to read these two. I barely even know what it's about except for Emika Chen. Um, and I've heard a lot of good things about her and everyone that I've talked to has absolutely loved this book. Like, I don't even know. I'm just really, really excited. I know it's going to be amazing. Uh, and I know it's not going to disappoint. So next I got Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. I've heard so much about this book. It has the Stonewall Honor, uh, book award and I don't really know a lot about it. Um, I've heard there's some sad bits. Uh, I'll cry a little bit, but a lot of people I know have read it and I'm pretty excited to read it. Uh, and this cover is really, really nice. And I don't know, I just, I have a good feeling about this book. I know it's gonna be good. Next is a book I was not anticipating getting. Like it's on my TBR. I don't remember putting it on my TBR or why I put it on my TBR. 
but lately I've just been like into just like trashy rom-coms, like back to back, Mariana Zapata, The Hating Game, just all of it. Like I just, they fried my brain. These trashy rom-coms have fried my brain. I read one page of these violent delights, a fantasy, and it took me like 10 minutes because I've been so used to reading just like garbage romance books. But it is called What I Like About You and I have no idea what it's about. Uh, it looks like an online sort of social media thing. And I know the main character has my name, her name is Hallie and it's spelled differently, but uh, it's gonna be fun. I, I just, I love rom-coms. Um, hopefully this one's good. Uh, it was between this one and the worst best man and the kiss quotient. Uh, if any of you have read any of these, uh, let me know which one you liked best or uh, if you've even just read one and you liked or didn't like it, let me know. Um, I really wanna get more into reading like new adult romance books that <laughs> aside from Mariana Zapata, which I've been reading, I still have to read The Wall of Winnipeg and Me, but um, I'm kind of branching out from just the specifically YA that I've been reading for years. Next, I got A Torch Against the Night and A Reaper at the Gates. I already have an Ember in the Ashes and of course Sky isn't out yet, but I cannot explain to you how excited I am to read this series. Like, people have been talking about it for months and I just really, really need to read it. And, uh, one of my mutuals, uh, Sympathy. <laughs> she has been wanting me to read this forever and I just think I'm gonna adore it. Like, Lie of Sarah, I will love you with everything. I would probably die for you and I haven't even read your book yet, so. I will be reading An Ember in the Ashes next month. Uh, I think I'm gonna be buddy reading it with uh, someone I know, Snow, uh, who was in one of my last videos. Uh, she's already read it. Uh, I've not read it and she's gonna be rereading it while I'm reading it for the first time, which is gonna be really fun. And last but not least, I wasn't sure if I was gonna get this and I didn't even think about it and then I saw it on a display uh, at some point. Um, and so, Illuminae, I adore this cover. Like this is so cute and like fun and different from all the other girls, you know? <laughs> I didn't find the second book. I can't remember the title um, at this moment in time. Editing Hallie can put it right there. But I've heard so, so, so many good things about this series. I have no idea when I'm gonna read it. Probably in 2021. I'm not sure. Uh, I have a lot on my TBR. I'm reading An Ember in the Ashes, as I just said, Stalking Jack the Ripper. I've got some romance books, some arcs. I've got How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Story. All of it. All of it. But yeah, that is my 10 book haul from Barnes & Noble. I had a lot of fun filming this. It was my first vlog, so that was really cool and fun and fresh. But um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it anytime soon. Uh, that was a lot of books um, and a lot of fucking money. So um, I'm probably not gonna do that again. I might vlog like going and looking at books. I'm not sure. It was a lot and then you had to be like quiet and there's a pandemic. So don't know if I'm gonna be doing that again. But anyways, uh, next video is going to be a bookshelf organizing video. I have so many books that aren't on my shelves yet. And since I have rainbow shelves, the thing with them is that every time I get even one new book, I have to rearrange the whole shelf. Like if I have a green book and I got to put it like right back here or a yellow book, like right there, then I have to shift all these and all these and everything below it over um, and make everything fit again. So I have like, I want to say like 20 something books that I need to put on these shelves and I'm going to rearrange them in the next video and it's gonna be super fun. I know a lot of people like watching uh, videos like that, like people organizing stuff and th things like that. <laughs> I am filming and editing this in advance because I'm going home for Thanksgiving and I won't have anywhere to film and I won't have my filming stuff or my books or any of that. So this is gonna be in advance and I think this will be posted the day after Thanksgiving if I'm my math is correct. 
So if it is, happy Thanksgiving, happy belated Thanksgiving, and happy early Christmas. Not even early Christmas, it's already fucking Christmas. Let's fucking go. But yeah, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I am really, really hoping to hit 500 by the end of this year. That is my end of the year goal. I know it is ambitious. I still have like 240 to go, but that is what I wanna hit. Uh, so help me out and subscribe to my channel below. And let me know in the comments what your favorite book out of my haul was. If you haven't read any of them, if you're planning on reading any of them, just let me know in the comments. Let's talk about it. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Thank you.